no matter what's going on around you. Just begin to lift his name on high. Come on, lift him up. Right where you are, just lift him up. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Good morning to you. Good morning. You're listening to Chronicles Christian Radio. Today is Saturday. It's the 6th of August 2022. And we have our first Saturday morning prayer as we place our month before our Lord and ask Him to cover us and to keep us through this month. Good morning. My name is Vanol and welcome as we have our time of prayer. We lift the name of Jesus higher and higher and higher. At this time, let's open in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks. Lord, we thank you for a brand new day. We thank you, God, that we can rise up before the sun is up to spend time in prayer before your throne. Lord, we thank you for all that you have done for us. We thank you, God, for bringing us throughout the week thus far. You have kept us, oh God. You have kept our minds in peace. You have kept our bodies. You have kept our souls. And Lord, you have kept us anchored in you, Jesus. We ask, oh Lord, that you continue to cover us under your blood. We ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you bless our listeners, oh Father God. Direct their steps, Father, in the name of Jesus. Direct their paths, O oh God, as they seek you. Lord, we thank you for families and friends. We thank you, God. We thank you. And we just want to bless your name and exalt you and worship you, Jesus, because you deserve our worship. Lead us on, Father. Guide us as we spend time in your presence, lifting up your name. To you we all honor, glory, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. As we lift up Jesus, as we spend time in his presence, adoring him, praying unto him, reading his word. Good morning. I pray that you be blessed by today's program. This song is called Lord, I Lift Your Name on High, sang by Chavelle Franklin. Lord, I love to sing your praises. Your name, ah, yeah. Lord, I 
For Lord Jesus high And he wants his name to be lifted up And so we lift up the name of Jesus Hallelujah Blessed be the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ This morning we will be listening to St. John chapter 1 The book of St. John chapter 1 And following which we go into prayer The Gospel according to John John 1 in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bare witness of him, and cried, saying, This was he of whom I spake. He that cometh after me is preferred before me. For he was before me. And of his fullness have all we received, and grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. No man hath seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. And this is the record of John, when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? And he confessed, and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Art thou Elias? And he saith, I am not. Art thou that prophet? And he answered, no. Then said they unto him, Who art thou, that we may give an answer to them that sent us? What sayest thou of thyself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as said the prophet Isaiah. And they which were sent were of the Pharisees. And they asked him, and said unto him, Why baptizest thou then? If thou be not that Christ, nor Elias, neither that prophet? John answered them, saying, 
I baptize with water, but there standeth one among you whom ye know not. He it is who coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoes latchet I am not worthy to unloose. These things were done in Bethabara, beyond Jordan, where John was baptizing. The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me cometh a man which is preferred before me, for he was before me. And I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Israel. Therefore am I come, baptizing with water. And John bare record, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him. And I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same is he which baptizeth with the Holy Ghost. And I saw and bear record that this is the Son of God. Again the next day, after John stood and two of his disciples, and looking upon Jesus as he walked, he saith, Behold, the Lamb of God! And the two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned, and saw them following, and saith unto them, What seek ye? They said unto him, Rabbi, which is to say, being interpreted, Master, where dwellest thou? He saith unto them, Come and see. They came and saw where he dwelt, and abode with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour. One of the two which heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first findeth his own brother Simon, and saith unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is, being interpreted, the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus, and when Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon the son of Jonah, thou shalt be called Cephas, which is, by interpretation, a stone. The day following, Jesus would go forth into Galilee, and findeth Philip, and saith unto him, Follow me. Now Philip was of Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip findeth Nathanael, and saith unto him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathanael said unto him, can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip saith unto him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him, and saith of him, Behold an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. Nathanael saith unto him, Whence knowest thou me? Jesus answered and said unto him, Before that Philip called thee, when thou wast under the fig tree, I saw thee. Nathanael answered, and saith unto him, Rabbi, thou art the Son of God, thou art the King of Israel. Jesus answered, and said unto him, Because I said unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree, believest thou? Thou shalt see greater things than these. And he saith unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. John 2. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus saith unto him, They have no wine. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. His mother saith unto the servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. And there were set there six water pots of stone, after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firkins apiece. Jesus saith unto them, Fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he saith unto them, Draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast. 
and they bear it. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom, and saith unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But thou <laughs> hast kept the good wine until now. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee, and manifested forth his glory, and his disciples believed on him. After this he went down to Capernaum, he and his mother and his brethren and his disciples, and they continued there not many days. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the tables and said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence. Make not my father's house an house of merchandise. And his disciples remembered that it was written, The seal of thine house hath eaten me up. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, in the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did. But Jesus did not commit himself unto them, because he knew all men, and needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in John 3. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night, and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus answered, and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, We speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things, and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 
For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. After these things came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea, and there he tarried with them and baptized. And John also was baptizing in Enon near to Salem, because there was much water there, and they came and were baptized. For John was not yet cast into prison. Then there arose a question between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purifying. And they came unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptizeth, and all men come to him. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but that I am sent before him. He that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly, and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all. And what he hath seen and heard, that he testifieth, and no man receiveth his testimony. He that hath received his testimony hath set to his seal that God is true. For he whom God hath sent speaketh the words of God, for God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. The Father loveth the Son, and hath given all things into his hand. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him.
and indeed we lift the name of Jesus higher and higher. You're listening to our first Saturday morning prayer here on Chronicles Christian Radio, ccradio.co, as we lift the name of Jesus higher. We lift his name higher, and so when we lift his name higher, the world will praise him when they see Jesus lifted up higher. Jesus himself will draw people to praise him. So this morning we heard from the book of St. John chapter 1, 2, and chapter 3. And in chapter 1 we hear of the word. Jesus Christ there is referred to as the word. We also heard of where he chose his disciples and the disciples were saying, you know, this is Jesus of Nazareth whom the, the, the law and the prophets and Moses talked about. And Jesus Christ, he came into the world and this was his first coming when he was born of the Virgin Mary. He was born into this world and he lived and he died. And even when he mentioned destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. He was talking there of his own body when he died. And three days after he was risen from the dead. And so Jesus Christ, he is alive today. And he, he will be coming again. But before he comes again and at his second coming, there will be what is called the rapture of the church. So those believers of Jesus Christ who are alive now and those who have died, We'll all meet when the Lord comes in the air. And then, after a period of seven years, the Lord himself will come again. The second coming, he will come and reign and rule from Jerusalem. So, God, Jehovah God, God the Father loved the world so much. Even though man sinned, and we are reminded that because of Adam, all men have sinned. And because all have sinned, the Lord God, he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die, to save us from our sins. And so we, we thank God that he loved us. And as the servants in the earth, we continue to carry out his commands to let the world know that Jesus is Lord. Let them know that Jesus loves us. And so we lift his name on high today. As we continue to listen to this song by Marvin Providence, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lift the name of Jesus higher and he will give you the breakthrough that you need and you desire. You came from heaven to earth. I can't hear you. Come on. To show the way. Can you see the devil running out of here? He can't stand it when the people of God come together. Unity and grace mess up his business.
Let us all let us bow our head in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for today. We thank you for this month. Lord, we thank you for your mercies thus far in the year 2022. You provided for us, God. You have kept us. And we just want to say thank you. We ask, O oh God, that you continue to lead us, that you continue to guide us, Lord, as we lift your name on high day after day after day. Help us, God, to be to be thoughtful of the things that we do, the things that we say, the places that we go, Father God, that you will be glorified in everything that we do in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks. Heavenly Father, we give you praise. We adore you, O oh God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are alive. We thank you, God, and we worship you, and we lift your name on high because you deserve the worship. You deserve to be lifted up on high. You are Lord. You are Lord, and you are great. Lord, be glorified. Take all the praise. Take all the glory. Bless our listeners, O oh Father God, and encourage their hearts in you. That they also will lift your name on high, wheresoever they are located. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for thank you for listening. I pray that you are blessed and encouraged by today's prayer time as we spend time in the presence of the Lord on the first Saturday of the month to pray. Rise up to pray and praise our God. May the blessings of God be with you today and always continue to abide in his love and his peace and his joy. My name is Vanola Glasgow. May God bless you and keep you. Savior Jesus Christ, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to Jesus. You're listening to Chronicles Christian Radio from the